What is up Vapesters? Welcome back. I am Rob the UK Vapester and today we're taking a look at the Limitless Box Mod. So this is not the newest mod on the market but it hasn't been on the channel and if you guys didn't know this mod is a little bit special. I'll go over why in just a bit but for now let's take a closer look at the packaging and see everything we get when we buy it from new. So guys, here we have the mod, we're going to start the review at the top and work our way down and then we'll go over what makes this mod special. So starting at the top we have a spring loaded 510 connection and everything I put on here is fit flush. Moving down we've got our screen which is also a mirror and we have our fire button and up and down button. They're nice and clicky and work well, we'll go through the screen and the functions a bit later on. On the other side we've got the Limitless Mod Company logo which is also really nice. On the bottom, we don't really have anything, and as you guys can tell, there's no charging ports anywhere, so you do need an external charger if you're gonna use this mod. And we have the battery door here, and as you can see, there's a little lip to get it undone easier. We have four magnets, and here's our battery tray that fits two 18650 batteries. Super clean, super well made, awesome. So, what makes this mod special? Some of you could have guessed, some of you might actually own one and already know, but this mod has interchangeable panels on both sides. So what this means is if you want to have a matchy-matchy with your tank, you can do that by changing out the panels and making sure the colour matches. Or, if you're bored of the colour of the mod, instead of getting a new mod and spending loads of money, you can just buy some new panels, change the colour, and it's like a brand new mod, which is awesome. So guys, here is a quick guide to the screen and the functions. To turn this guy on is five clicks to the fire button, which is here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then boom, it's loaded up really quickly. You've got memory modes, so you've got memory one, two, and three. And if you want to change any of these from the wattage, all you want to do is press back almost instantly. And then you can go up or down, you know, easy as that. Let's have it to about 50-ish. It goes up pretty fast in 0.1 increments and obviously then in one increments, which is pretty sweet. Let's actually go to the top wattage for a dual battery. So, you know, not too slow, but also not too fast to go all the way up to 200 watts. There we go. We've hit it. We press the fire button to lock that in. And then to go to the menu screen, all you want to do is press five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And then boom, we can change it on and off from power. So that's how you turn it off. You've got the modes, so you've got power mode or temp mode, press it again. You can auto adjust the power, which is pretty cool, or you can manually set it from here. If you didn't want to do it the quick way, I just showed you. And if we go through again, you can rotate the screen and then you can exit the menu. So let's exit it. And that's pretty much it. So guys, the sponsor and the cost. The sponsor of this video is Vape Store UK. They sent me this mod to review. I've been after it for such a long time because I love the aspect of being able to change the panels to make it a brand new mod for an affordable price without doing wraps or silicon sleeves or anything like that. So, so happy they sent me one. If you want to check out links to their social media or their website or links to purchasing this, all of them can be found down below. But how much are they selling it for? They currently have the mod, just the mod, no kit or anything like that, for £72. It's not cheap. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is an expensive mod, but you are paying for quality. And also, this is going to be your main mod. This is going to be the mod that you have all your tanks on. And if you do get bored of it, you can change the panels rather than the whole mod to make it look entirely new. Okay guys, so pros, cons, and my final thoughts, let's start with some cons. The first one is with the price. I know it's really well made and it's a great mod, but it's still expensive, so something to consider. And the next negative is with the layout. The fire button, I would have loved to see it on this little slant here. I think that would have been absolutely awesome. 
or the slant to be on the other side. Because if I have my thumb here, my finger automatically goes there and it's so much more comfortable than this way round. but it's just one of them things. It's a little nitpicky, but I wanted to mention it. Next, with the positives, like I said, really well made. It's going to last a long time. It's a great mod. I also love all the features. Works really well with all my tanks. And also, of course, I love the fact that you can take it apart and change the panels to make it a new color and like a new looking mod. That's fantastic. Okay, guys, that's pretty much all the things I wanted to mention. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.